And in today's episode of Every Job's a Nail, Martin does carpentry. Ooh. Right, as you can see, down in here, I've got my my wall, which only comes this far, unfortunately, because then it goes into studs. So that is effectively the outside wall where my hallway is or my porch is so I'm going to get down onto this brick here with something solid to support the cross member going that direction now I'd like to get something a bit more solid so what I'm going to do first is put a piece cut to the right side underneath between the wall and this rafter so I can use this rafter as a structural member which I can't at the moment because it's well it's only two before attached three meters apart at the ends so here's one block I made earlier I'm gonna drop it in here relatively straightforward <coughs> just stick a quick screw in it to make sure it stays where it is and then effectively I have a load bearing structure okay cleverly measured and cut a nice lump of wood which will sit nicely here resting on top of the brick below screwed into the batten the rafter next door as soon as I get all the dust and crap out from under there and we'll provide with what will be in effect a uh, hundred by hundred block of wood resting on top of a brick wall below and there we have it my little resting block for the the two the twos that are going to be coming off. Here we have it, my nice little block here. Support under the existing rafter. Another block here sitting on this brick wall up, tied together with a nice little bit of ply as a resting plate for my tie, which is going to go over here. And rest on these two here which is sitting on the bedroom wall with plates underneath nice and secure so effectively at this point here oh this bit here is resting solidly on the wall so what I've got to do is get the height of this and then cut a, a notch out of this here ish to allow another double joist to sit down inside this onto that wall plate onto that wall whilst resting on this wall at this end nice and secure and then that should be okie dokie and I can start putting in the, the rafters on this side of the room on we go um. This is where it gets interesting. I've now got to cut a notch in the piece of timber. It's got to be square that way. It's got to be square on the bottom, or level on the bottom. I've measured and tested and got the big floor square in and measured and tested and measured. And I'm pretty sure I'm cutting in the right place. The only issue I've got now is I'm trying to make the kind of joint I haven't done since I was in secondary school doing woodwork. It's a simple enough joint, <laughs> but requires a level of accuracy I haven't come anywhere near for a long time. Oh, well, here it goes. Trust my measurements and hope for the best. Oh, 
All right, it was a bloody sod up here from about 11 o'clock onwards. So by midday I went, oh, I'll sod this for a game of soldiers and went downstairs. So spent the afternoon doing other things, taking child to school, bringing child back from school, shopping, just generally piddling around. So now, early evening, it's still sweaty as hell up here, but we've now got our double joist in. Two before on top, hold it all together as per the structural engineers diagrams. Lovely. Oh, I'm, I'm really proud of myself with that notch. It is rock, rock solid. Interference fit. <laughs> and at the other end. Oh, look at that. Perfectly square as well. Just move the floor square. Grooved in. Grooved in at the other end as well. Get a bit of light over there. Absolutely stonking. So now I have to tailor each individual rafter from here back to the centre wall plate. That's going to be nice, get three on here and then it should be relatively straightforward normal stuff for a little while. Hurrah! Late. A late start this morning uh, because up here it was like a sauna, it's still roasting up now, but we're talking you know, 27 28 degrees outside and humid with it, so you can imagine what it's like in here. It's been like that for the last couple of days. So, work has been restricted to the late afternoon, early evening, but despite that, a bit of progress, we've now got this lot in, all attached to the big beastie at the back. Logins in place, got the next one of these in but I've kind of run out of me little twisted nails, I have to go shopping first thing for in the morning for more of those and I can't nail me brackets in without them. Uh, ply glued and screwed these rafters at that end to the rafters from the other side on the top of the wall plate the spine wall plate so that's looking good and solid and all together one more oh sorry two more of these to go in here off off and that'll be this done one more here and that'll be me up to the stairway hole and that will be the whole of this side done. I'm being summoned from downstairs, so that must be quitting time. It's the smell of something lovely cooking as well, so I will. Uh... Night night, see you in the morning. <laughs> 